Hey guys! I'm um, saying hey guys is a microaggression against women and I'm like super triggered by it. The other day I saw that Steven Crowder posted a link to these three Muslim men that were talking about why women should not be on YouTube. If your wife is coming out in front of people, showing herself, embarrassing herself. Embarrass? <laughs> what have I ever done? to embarrass myself on the internet. I can't think of anything. I live in a world of connotations. A world where girl means weak and boy is an excuse. Where feminist strikes up disgust, but meninist strikes up a light-hearted laugh. <laughs> I, uh, anyway. Maybe they're, some people are perverted, they're just lusted by her or something like that, they're in love with her or something actually like that. Actually, you know a guy? Who one he died a YouTuber, he actually masturbated over her. Mm, I yeah, 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 it's that was a bit Oh, men masturbate over her. See, this is a thing. Um <laughs> This is a, I mean, it's true. It's true, trust me. Um, I'm a woman on YouTube and I've gotten many comments that are really sick, super perverted. But I mean, listen, if you're on the internet, I don't care if you're a girl, I don't care if you're a guy, I don't care if you're young or you're old or if you're attractive or not. It doesn't matter what you are, you're going to get a shit ton of comments because it's the internet that are of a very sexual, most likely very graphic nature. Get over it. So they're trying to make the point though that because women on the internet get men that sexualize them that they just simply shouldn't be on the internet, that somehow it's the fault of the woman for even being on the internet. Not the guy who's jerking off to her. Ugh, these guys are so frustrating, but that's what you get. With, you know, with, with certain super religious belief systems, you get that kind of very misogynistic, and this is an appropriate use of the word, misogynistic way of thinking. However, there are many uses of the word misogynistic or misogyny or patriarchy or all the triggered feminists, all, all these different things that really piss me off, especially lately. Down with the patriarchy, up with tomato soup. Gender is just an invention by society. There was recently a women's march in LA. A lot of people went to this women's march. It was a big thing. You had all the crazy people wearing the vagina hats, dressed up as actual vaginas, holding ridiculous signs. I, I, I've sat back and tried to think a bit about what exactly it is that they're protesting. Uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring it out. Women in, in America, we're doing pretty good right now. I mean, I can't think of any rights we're particularly not able to to have. Like, I mean, we, we can have abortions, we can get birth control. Sometimes it's not government funded, but why should that necessarily be a right? The wage gap is bullshit. I had a lot of people try to bring up the wage gap. Oh, we make 70 cents on the dollar. No, come on, that, that has been proven wrong so many times. Do we really need to talk about the wage gap anymore? No! No! To be honest, there's a lot of situations nowadays where women have the upper hand. If it's anything about a divorce, anything about getting custody over a kid, even sometimes in certain jobs, women make more money. I mean, there's a lot of inequalities that, you know, are in the opposite direction, but people don't care to address those. Those aren't convenient. Those aren't things that we can use to victimize ourselves and get pats on the back for how oppressed we are. The other day I tweeted, unpopular opinion, I'm not oppressed. Things are pretty good these days for women. This was the day of the Women's March, and I knew that posting this tweet would bring me a lot of hate, but holy shit, I had no idea. First of all, I had a lot of people telling me about my internalized misogyny that I'm apparently just blissfully unaware of. Also had a lot of people checking my privilege. Check my privilege? Yeah, check your privilege. We what? <laughs> what does that mean? You're privileged. Check it. Check it right now. Shh. I checked it. I checked it. Had a lot of people saying things like this. Well, we do have all our rights, but some countries don't. Our rights aren't respected by some bigots and society still promotes us to be the stereotypical woman. What? So, listen, like, yeah, there's gonna be assholes. There's gonna be the person who says, get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich unironically. And they're actually serious and they're actually sexist and that sucks. But that doesn't mean we live in a society full of people who are super oppressed all of the time. Like there's assholes no matter where you go. You're gonna run into people who say horrible shit no matter where you go. That doesn't mean you live with daily oppression or that you don't have 
right to achieve the things that you want to achieve. I feel like people just need so badly to fight for a cause and feel like they're a vigilante and feel like they're standing up for something that they, they just have to be a victim of something. So now instead of fighting for actual rights, we're fighting against things like microaggressions and complaining when people like me say, hey guys, at the beginning of a video. And all these people saying, oh, but some countries don't have rights. People at the Women's March, okay, most of those people are not out there because they're fighting for the rights of women in the Middle East, okay? They're fighting for their own rights. They're not wearing a vagina hat in support of people who have to wear hijabs, okay? They're wearing a vagina hat and dressing like a giant vagina because they think they themselves are somehow super oppressed. Leave the US and you might change your spoiled tune. Listen, if you really wanna help people in other countries who are dealing with actual misogyny and actual oppression, then maybe you should do more than tweet about it. You know, just a thought. You don't have to suffer personally to stand up for a cause. I mean, yeah, I know. I stood up for gay rights when they didn't have them. I'm not gay. I've stood up for animal rights in certain situations and I'm not a cow. People might beg to differ in the comments section, but my point still stands. I'm not literally a farm animal and I still have done many animal rights type of things. I realize I don't need to be part of a group to stand for it, but I am part of this group and I am able to speak on it. And it is frustrating to see a bunch of women complain about problems that we don't have. Of course, of course there's gonna be certain people who are sexist. Of course, there are gonna be certain inequalities or certain discrepancies that you see. Like personally, I'd love to see more women in politics. Maybe more women need to want to be in politics for that to happen, but that'd be pretty cool. Thing is, is we have that right. You have the right to be a woman in politics. It's not like you can't pursue that. It's not like that opportunity isn't available to you. And let me tell you something. I understand the arguments that people make whenever they wanna talk about feeling oppressed. I understand all of those talking points because I was very much in line with that not that long ago. I mean, I know I've been making anti-feminist or like, you know, anti-radical feminist rants on YouTube for like five or six years now, but I think there are legitimate times to complain about legitimate problems. But for the most part, we're fine. For the most part, we're okay. And I think these people who feel the need to talk about microaggressions and all these tiny little things that really aren't that big of a problem are doing far more harm than good to the left. All these people who are out there holding signs, protesting Trump, dressed like giant vaginas, yeah, these people, you're not helping your cause. What you are doing is you're letting people look at you and be like, oh my God, that's what the left is like. Better vote Republican next time. You're helping the opposite of what you're trying to achieve times 10 by acting like you're so oppressed. People are gonna hate me for this video, oh my God. But let me just tell you, coming from a perspective of someone who has held that mindset slightly, at least to a degree where I feel like I can kind of relate to it in the past before, know that once you sit back and really evaluate yourself and really look at your life and look at the opportunities that you have you will realize that you're really not that oppressed and you really shouldn't be that easily offended by every damn thing. And once you accept that and let it go, you'll realize that most of the time, the only person really holding yourself back is you. It's such a liberating feeling to feel like you have opportunity, that you have options out there, that there isn't anyone holding you back. And if there is someone who says something shitty, then fine, fight that but please don't march around and act like women are this super oppressed group that don't have any rights and it's just awful in America for us right now because honestly, you're hurting the cause and you're making everyone look pretty stupid. It's frustrating for me to see because I still feel like I'm mostly very liberal. I can't stand Trump, I can't stand a lot of the shit that he says, I think it's embarrassing, but at the same time, the left for me is super embarrassing recently too. And I, you know, I feel like my opinions haven't so much shifted, but the party values have shifted around me that I don't even feel like I can completely identify as a liberal anymore. Maybe I can say that I'm like moderate left or something, but I've been feeling very confused lately and I don't know where I belong because everything is so skewed. Everything is a shit show. Everything's a shit hole triggered and I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people attacking me for being 
two for women's rights whenever I talk about things like being pro-choice. I'm tired of people telling me that I'm an anti-feminist just because I don't like people marching around wearing vagina hats and I think that looks really stupid because it is. It seems like no matter what I say, I can't make anyone happy and maybe that's just moderate. Maybe the moderate people are hated so much on both sides that there's just no place for us. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, <laughs> this is just my, my unfiltered rant. I've I've been feeling these things for a long time now and I saw the video of the three Muslim guys and I thought, you know what, that's funny. That's hilarious. Like, do I feel oppressed by these three guys? No, I look at them and I'm like, lol, look at these three misogynistic assholes. Aren't they funny? Let's all point at them and laugh. Like when you see someone who's racist, when you see someone who's sexist, like laugh at them. They should feel shame. They should feel embarrassment for being a freaking idiot. But you shouldn't walk around feeling like you're super oppressed because that person exists. Because I promise you, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, that kind of person will always exist. There will always be someone who says something horrible. But that doesn't mean that you need to internalize it and ruin your life by it and try to act like you're a victim and try to get all the pats on the back from everyone around you all of the time. The victim complexes are so annoying to me. Every time I go on Twitter or look at the news, I get super annoyed all of the time and I just wanted to let out my venting frustration in this video. So if you guys hate me for it, that's fine. If you wanna correct me on something, I'm super open to new opinions, so please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Like this video if you liked it, share it everywhere. Again, thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon. All my videos are getting demonetized because I'm controversial and YouTube hates me. So if you wanna support me on Patreon, I do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone already doing so, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! You like to get your privilege check. Free privilege check. Uh, no, not today. Aw, oh, it's free though. It's because I'm a woman. <laughs>